Hello. Hello. Awesome. Hi, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> good to see you. I got a new hat. From Dave the Black. Oh, I love it. Amazing. I got it today. Amazing. Very beautiful. It's very beautiful. I want one. Is that from the Blind Poet? Yeah, that's from the yeah. Blind Poet. You'll, it's you'll from David, one. right? Yeah. I love it. Yes. Is he going to be selling them in the, in the event center? I imagine he will, yeah. Good. Good, yeah, so that he can have like his little booth area where he can expose himself, which is very important. I love how you guys are creating these furtive grounds for all these entrepreneurs to really expose themselves and really come together and merge. Like it's just amazing how all of this is coming together. And I literally dived in with with Jared for five minutes because he was like, Sammy, I got five minutes and I understand the language rather very quickly. So I think that you can captivate that by now. Um, and so um, really, I just I just dived right into him and told him, you know, listen, we understand that we're, some of us are all leaders and we, we, um, we comprehend everything that needs to take role in play as well as what needs to be verbiage correctly and taken care of so that we can be in the best interest of protection of each and every one of the empires. And empires, and what I mean is each and every one of the companies, right? So um, there's some people that are coming in that are wanting good intentions and everything, but um, some ducks are not in the role when it comes to type of liability defense. So, you know, um, for example, I when we when we I I connected and spoke to Martha. I told her very, the first question that I asked her was, "Why are you doing this? What are your motives and drives? What you know?" I went dive right in, and then I asked her. I said, "Do you have a company? Do you have a name?" And she's like, "I don't." And I said, "Okay, are you certified? Be honest and clear with me because I just want to know so that we know how we can all cover ourselves and put you under the right umbrella." you know and um and so she was very honest and very open and so that's why if you notice um since we know that the sitters as well as her are not certified mm -hmm. we put that it is child sitting care services and not child care services Does that makes sense so it's more like babysitting but she's under the umbrella of heg kids so I, so I said if you're not you don't have a company all payments have to go through heg so that everything can be covered on the liability form of heg we will pay you and you will go into an independent contract agreement just for this event with the company so this is how it's going to flow. So that way you can be able to be covered. And she's like, okay, great, let's do it. So when it came up to the flyer, she's like, can you please add my name? Can you please do it this way? So I delegated Annie, and um, which is one of the HEG angels. I call them HEG angels over at, at headquarters, right? We're headquarters to us is, is all mobile, you know? Um, so basically, <laughs> you kind of get it. I love it. Uh, so basically, I tell her, like, um, you know, uh, just do the flyer. Um, I told Annie, it's said Annie get our graphic designer going get the her flying going get get her prices do whatever is needed so that she can get her the flyer for child care services and create her link create a questionnaire create her a checkout so that anyone that's booking for child care services is separate from the booking services you know um, so that everything is aligned and it's falling under the right back data entry for the excel spreadsheets and everything look at me I'm talking about this shit and I didn't even know any of this four or five months ago so amen to that that means that push has done an amazing job i gotta give it to her she's amazing um so basically uh i told her i said this is how it's gonna flow so child care services is gonna have his own link booking services is gonna have his own link and also um let me tell you how uh the divineness just kind of like poured onto us as enlightening to this morning and told her samia you're not gonna call home crew home crew this whole entire time i was seeing it as home crew and I was like, how can we call these people something else where really in reality, these are not just crew people. These are people that are really adding value because what we created is to add value to the market and to all this event community. So how can we call them? So this is the new name. So the team is going to be called the value, the value adders team mm. of volunteers. And it has the V, which is, you know, value adders. So it's like, it has to be a volunteers. What do you think of that? What do you think about that name? Value added team. Value adders. Yeah. Value. It's going value to be one. Value adder. What's up, value adder? What's up, value adder? Yes. So they, so they feel like God, you know, because they're adding a value, because they're adding, you know, they're depositing their skill sets, their their abilities, their experiences into serving other people and really enhancing this and adding value to the service. Yes. So that's why. That's what. What do you think about that? And that eliminates like that. the crew name. You know, it's like you know, so it doesn't cross over from one experience to another, but it's more like, you know, I'm part of this new home value adding team that right. you know that volunteers. For, for these events and for these homes. So how does that resonate with you? I feel like it's a solid thing and people can describe themselves right there by saying, what do you do? I'm a value adder. 
What are you doing here? I'm adding value. Hey, what's up, value adders? I like that. I love it. Yes, that's it. That's it. So that's the name of that. And so we created a link for the value adders, um, the value adders application. The reason why we're going to do it as an application is because we only need like five people in each home to be able to run. I mean, we've done it before. Where we've run a home for 32 people with only three of us servicing, you know, and managing it all, you know? Yeah. So I know that five is good enough to run a home of 15 to 20 people. That's like even more than enough. So that's good. And so um, I told Jamile today as we were talking, because we do as well have our HEG team protocols as well. We, we have to, so we can all try to say as much as communicate it. But I also told them, no one thing um, from the very beginning that we started, because I kind of got it when we first had our first conversation where you said, um, where we said, listen, it's, it just seems like there's a rush of water and, and, and um, that is just trying to get somewhere and we're just kind of like the faucet, right? And we're like the pieces of each of the pipeline putting things together. Yes. So we understand that every second there is changes, every second there's new things that are being added, every second there's, you know, so I explained that to the leads with all the AGG angels, you know, and the team. I said, I want you guys to know that this is the right time to hold on and adapt to changes and just know that you guys are to go into action immediately and you guys are, go to, are to go into problem solving immediately because this is what it is. You know, we're all creating and forming this now together. It's their first event, so they're forming it. I'm pretty sure that in their nerve center, they don't even know what roles and plays are with who. Everybody's just stepping into whatever needs to be filled in until they really know who is fucking good at it. And, you know, when I say fucking sometimes, I say because I'm adding, like, the expression, the intensity, but not because I'm cursing. So, you know, so, so I told them, I said, so this is how it is. So they're like, they're like, okay, Sammy, I'm like, so just letting you guys know that probably right now we have this system in play, but probably right now we have to add something to the system, whatever, because we're going to be adapting it as everything comes together and forms itself. But just know that at the, on the 10th, when we all find ourselves together, we're going to see this beautiful statue that we all created and molded together. And it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be lovely. So, okay. That's where we're at. So I wanted to go ahead and, and, and let, let um, Jared know. So what I asked Jared and what I, I, I filtered through him was, number one, verbiage, of course. Um, I had already told Martha, but then again, I, we, they did it the way that they wanted to do it. And it's a learning process, which is okay for everyone. Everyone has to learn so that they know who really knows what they're doing, right? Mm -hmm. So I told them, I said, great. So now... Martha, the eye care and the blinds that needs to be removed from the flyer and it needs to go to back to how we did it originally where it said New Jersey on it and you wanted to change it. And she was like, you know what, you're right. And I'm like, you have to understand that I care. I know that it's the name that you want, but it's not registered. And so everything we put on the flyer, we have to be very careful because we're not dealing with people that don't know. We're also dealing with entrepreneurs that do know how the, they do know the rules of the game. Does that make sense? So, so and some of us know the playground. So it's good for us to be able to, to guide and, and just teach and just say what, what we got it. So um, um, one thing that I want to run through, and I told, uh, so I shared this with, with Jared. Jared told me that it's okay for us to basically like, like with Tiffany in point of fact of creating a self spreadsheet and having everybody go through an application of becoming value adders part of the team so that the value adders can help out in the event and also help out in the home, but that at the same time we know who's good for what, right? Because Jamile, um, Jamile offered herself to be able to interview everybody so that she could pick the right people and place them in the right roles and place, even though I know that you've already sent people that are going to help us out in the house and they're coming first, right? So we're going to fill those spots in first before we keep adding and seeing what we need to plug in to get more value adders into the team. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're updating the flyer. We already know how we're going to use our codes and our codes, we're going to launch it in the point of the fact. I already have like five today they're going to get on the call and already want to come and they don't even know half of it so because i haven't had the time to be able to talk much but um we're going to do the webinar tonight at seven we're going to do another one on friday at seven and we're going to do another one sunday at seven so we're kind of like just going to ride this baby and with some momentum to add more people to come into into the event and to really know about the online movement and join the and join this whole movement and this whole concept right so we're doing that with that um i also asked ben about having whoever is the person that is um, in charge of, the, of organizing the event center, making sure that we get, hopefully, you know, the most closest parking spots available for each EG vans to park so that we don't have the differently abled walking too much to the vans or, you know, getting, getting in and out. But it's more like 
where we can consider them and as well as also on top of that have a designated space or area where they're all going to be sitting because they're already they're already all vibrating together in the home you know and creating these relationships so it'll be great if they can go through the event as well together because that's one thing that many people in the homes that we service have always asked that it's like oh man i i became great friends with her but now she's sitting in the other side and i'm sitting in the other side like a lot of people would love to sit together so we saw that you know um and then ah this was the other thing new updated link thank you for sending out the email that you sent um, you know, two or three hours ago of the, uh, of, you know, with all the information as well of us. And I saw how you directed everyone to your almostblind.org. You did a great job really grabbing the information and without us talking, really putting it together. And it's just, it was like a no brainer to you. you. You knew what you were doing, you know? Yeah. And, um, yeah, you're a pro at it. You're a pro at it. And I was just like, man, he's, we haven't even spoken, but we're like, we're, it's like, if we have spoken, you know, <laughs> we can work together, me and you. I love it. So, you know, but, but the link that's at the bottom where people click to go through the questionnaire and go through the booking process was updated. So what I sent in our, um, what I sent in our text message, right, is the new link. So if you can please update that, that would be great. Or if you're, you let so me know where I need to send it to you. Just to clarify, you can go to my almostblind.org site. I go in yeah, when you click on it now, it tells you that the server is not a, um, or that the link is not available or something. Yeah, I looked at it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the one that's on the almostblind.org. Okay, I got you. I was just trying to place what you're saying. I got you. Yeah, it was updated, so it was changed because it was updated, adding the um, the question about the value adders. Gotcha. So that's why it changed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I want you to know that until recently currently at this present minute right now because we know that every second things change or things get better right yeah. um at this very second no one has been booked yet so there is hasn't been, there there hasn't been anyone booked at all right okay. i'm about to call everybody and book them now because now the systems are already customized and put together for this okay so can i book people myself for the differently abled house on so, sponsored for the or differently able house for, for yeah so for the differently able house um this is what we were thinking and you tell me what you think because i know that it's an over to me that you have your hands like with a lot on top of as well too like you have your hands and so that's what orly as well as crystal crystal is her name if i remember right right uh orly and tia oh crystal and yes my other deputy Yes, yeah. in the finance community. Crystal Allen. So I'm so Orly and Crystal, I believe, are going to be the ones to work together with the differently abled homes. Am I right? Is that what I'm understanding? Yeah. I, so, I was thinking I would also go there and help oversee stuff too. Yeah. So I'm we'll add you as we'll add we'll add you as value adder team as well too. <laughs> right. But we're gonna have Orly, I'm gonna connect with Orly and with Crystal so that I can provide them an extension with a three three H E G book, right? And that anyone that wants to be able to book themselves for the differently abled home, they can be contacted through there, and that way we can minimize all the calls coming to you, right? Opens up your time. So I really like that idea, and I was hoping that you were good with Crystal and Orly because that was that was what I was hoping to happen. Awesome. Well, I did explain this and and had a beautiful conversation with Barry today. I went good. through Barry's list today with him before we start plugging in the layouts, right? So yeah. I told um, I told him that from now on, if he has any interest in anything that has to do with the booking of any of the home's accommodations, to please pull the number and follow the extensions. The extensions is going to guide everyone to who is it, to, to who to talk to depending on what they want to obtain. So one would be booking for multicultural home, two would be booking for the contribution home, and it's being directed to the, the people that we have delegated to handle each and every area, right? Four is Jamile, which is anyone that has any booking, ticket information inquiries for this event. So that there's someone as well back in the back end handling like the bookings and registering people for the event as well and helping out, right? But um, three is, is, is for childcare services for the event. So of course that's going straight to Martha. So Martha's handling her area and her end of it as well too. But at the end, Everybody that goes either through the through the phone system and or books, we are keeping a tally in the back end of the data to see what's happening, what's being taken care of, what's not being taken care of, 
and so forth. Does that make sense? Yes. So yeah. do we have right now, we got Jamile, Martha, and Orly on, on the different enabled, and then I got two more people that I would refer people to. So yeah, total of five Annie. lieutenants. So, so you have what, I'm sorry, five what? I would have like five different people that I referred people to then. In, in general, is this this is all uh, on that on that uh, landing page, right? Or are these numbers not there? I can't remember the numbers to call. The five people. That, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna update the extensions and send that to you because I'm gonna sign an extension to Orly and as well as to Crystal, and that way you have the extension of who's managing what, right? Um, every other thing that has to do like the multicultural home as well as um, booking for the reunion home or any of that. Annie and Diana will be managing that. Martha will be managing the child care city services. Ori and Crystal will be managing the differently abled home. And we will see how everything is going with all of it. Now, for the differently able home and the contribution home, which is the, the which is what you call the scholarship home, right? Yeah, uh, the scholarship program, the scholarship program. But uh, common sense to us is that we know that that's the verbiage that that, that you have right now in your mindset because of course you guys are offering a scholarship program because you guys are an educational co company that is offering an event that is an educational event. So that's a scholarship for anyone that's getting a ticket. But for mm -hmm. us, it's a sponsorship for anyone that's staying in our home accommodation e uh, services. Does that make sense? Because we're not a, we're not a, uh, we're not a, um, an educational, an educational company. Does that make sense? So, so that so, uh, we'll we'll know the difference in language, but if somebody says sponsorship right. me or sponsorship, that's what it means. Yeah. So the girls and yeah. the girls, every person that's on the booking extensions understand that if someone says scholarship, that really means sponsorship. They already understand the verbiage. So we got that we got that covered. So all of this that I'm that I'm um that I'm explaining to you and sharing with you right now is already done. Like it's already like filtered through, communicated. And all I need is for you to tell me, yes, Samia, let's go. Yes, Samia, let's go. Yes, Samia, let's go. Um, yes, I'm everything. Then, I always okay. say yes, Samia, let's go. All right, all right. And then updating, um, so it's up, just updating the link is the only thing. And then um, what was the other thing? Yeah, so right now there's five homes. Um, if we need to grow, we have room to grow because that's just how it goes, right? Now, um, can we go through the list of what you believe is to be right now plugged in as number one priority in the different able home? Because I already went through the list with Barry, but I want to go through it with you because we're about to launch. We're about to like literally like after our seven o'clock webinar, like these, this whole HEG booking whole division of handling ticket inquiries, child care services, differently able home, the sponsorship home, all of that is already like in role and play to take it over. So I've got, I've got some names for, for the sponsored. Um, some people that I sent you today did want to go ahead and, and pay for a private room. And, and I think maybe, maybe even your multicultural, even though they're blind, uh, is that, I, I, I feel totally cool about that. How do you feel about that? I feel about it very well. If they want to be able to say, hey, look, I don't want to stay with other people that are in the same condition or, other, or whatever with me, and they feel like they can stay in a multicultural home and engage with other people, then that's their selection. I believe everyone has a free will to select what they would like to, you know, where they would like to vibrate in. So, amen, let's give it to them. I got some delivery here. So, pardon me for just a moment. I'm so happy. I'm working from home today. Yay, that's good. Oh, no. <laughs> so am I. I'm working from my I got room right now. <laughs> good day. I'm actually, I'm over at Sean Callagy's house right now. He's out of town in house city. And, oh, uh, that's beautiful. I've got in the yeah. fridge. You guys are going to love this. Check this out. So all Sean got in the fridge is frozen pizzas and ice cream. And then check out Sean's counter here. I don't know if you can see this. So I can't really see either, but it's all candy and stuff. Like, so Sean just snacks and snacks. He's got all this candy and it's pretty awesome. So I, I actually ordered some uh, healthy Chinese food with vegetables. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah. If, I, if, if, if the food could, send to me, could be sent to me virtually, I'd be like, you know what? Let's eat. Let's <laughs> yeah, I'd be all right. so, um, so my thought is that I'm going to definitely need a couple days to round up from this, this email I just sent out to people in the in the the blindness community and orly and some other people are also calling down a list to just just make sure everyone's got their housing and let them know that heg is available 
and that uh, there are some scholarship uh, sponsored housing for the blind, but it is on the honor system for needs based. So and first come first serve. So um, can I have 48 hours to get back with you on this? You sure can, of course, you sure can. Just know that we are prepared to even manage things even on the ninth. Just know that, like, yeah, this is our strength. This is our strength. Um, I will tell you that um, right now, what I have my priority to plug into layout right now, I have private room for Oli and his three sons, which I already spoke to him, by the way. He He's called awesome. me right after our call on Monday, I think it was, the webinar. He's amazing, amazing, beautiful soul. Um, and then I have Shanna. Is Shanna the Russian lady that's come in from the Oksana. government in Russia? Shanna. Oksana. Huh? Oksana. How do you spell it? Uh, O-K-S-A-N-A. -A. Oksana. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Oksana. Okay. So Oksana is the Russian lady that's coming from the government. And Oksana is coming alone, right? Yes. Okay. So she's in a shared room. She's in a shared room. So we yes. do understand that 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 people, some people are going to book private rooms, but some people are going to want share rooms. So not the whole houses are going to be all private rooms. Some of them are going to be right. shared. Okay. Yeah, anybody okay. that, that's, that's got a private room, they're going to need to pay for that room, to my understanding. Right. And then right. the share, that's in the sponsorship. Yeah, there's prices already. So like even when they go on the on the, the main page of the company, um, the flyers are already there with the prices on there for them. So they, they can already see them. Um, also, David Steele. I have David Steele on behalf of Barry, and he's sponsorship uh, sponsorship for Dave for Barry. Jan Ferris, which is a sponsorship from us as well. Um, we have Diane Dushharm and Al Dushharm. She's coming with her husband. They're a couple, so we have them in a private room. Um, also, their sponsorship from Barry, and um, we have Gerald Barnes from Barry as well. And then we have Annette Carr coming from Barry as well too. Okay. Who else? is it that we need to add to this list you spoke to me about a couple that was driving in that would love to stay in the contribution home um what about them let me think here. i've got a guy named david nielsen from utah that would like to he'd like to be in contribution home and he'd like to be a value adder contribution value adder. okay i've got a guy named quinn durant who would like to be picked up in georgia on your way up and he's my childhood best friend I remember him, yeah. yeah I haven't hung out with him as adults. I saw him for one afternoon as an adult and it was in Georgia when I was passing through. It was great. So it'll be nice to have him out here. He'd like to come out uh, on the spot if possible. Yep. So, Quinn, I'm going to get in contact with him so that I can get him onto our schedule as we drive up. Okay. Um, so, I have him here to, for pickup for transportation. And also, will he be staying in one of the homes? Is he, is, yep. what would you like to put him You'd like on the sponsor. Yeah. And all these so he, three sons would like to be picked up, by the way. All these three sons are pay, being picked up from where? From Arlington, Virginia, Washington, D.C. area. Okay, Washington, D.C., Virginia. All he would get here himself. Got it. Okay. And then um, pick up transport. Okay. Now, um, Quinn, do, where would you like to have him be sponsored at? Which home? It's a differently abled home. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and he's coming by himself. Yes. Okay. Um, what about the couple? Is that someone else that you had? I'm not. I'm not sure. Did I say there was a couple myself? Um. I don't remember that. Yeah. If you go through our text messages, Harley, if you go back, you'll. Oh. You'll, okay. I'll, I'll look. You'll probably, yeah, I'll and probably. then just get back to me on that. Okay. Just get back to me on that. Somebody but probably right called now, me and I passed it on. Um, I do have yeah. there's some people coming in from Arizona that are my friends that are uh, amazing, amazing people. They, you're going to love their story. Her name is Jane. And she went blind suddenly in a tragic accident and she nearly died. And oh. this will be her first time traveling uh, being blind since this happened. So wow. The, and she's being brought out uh, here and she's a friend of mine and I, I was friends with her when that happened. And Mike Abel is from uh, Arizona, and he's, he's a, a public speaker on Finest coming out. They'd like to be in the sponsorship house, or the different Abel house on sponsorship. And um, what was her name again? Jane. I can't remember her last name to save my life right now. Okay, Jean. And she's coming from Arizona. Jean is coming Jean. by herself? She'll be here with Mike Abel from Arizona. 
Okay, so they're both, are they both a couple? No, they are not a couple, but they'll both take shared rooms. They'll share with others. They can be paired. Got it. Okay. Yep. So yep. Mike is from Arizona too. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we have, I, and Maxwell. I will get these badges that hold their place. Okay, so until now, because you you know you're gonna have enough time to be able to get us the list and and you know keep adding. remember oh, yeah. that that the differently able home as well as the contribution home is straight up sponsorship. So um, we have enough space. Like we'll we'll be good. Like there's still room. As of now, I will tell you on a daily count right now at this present second moment, right? There is still room. So there's still availability. If you guys from now on need to know about room space availability daily count, please call the one eight three three H E G book number and direct yourselves to the right housing division and they will always have the updates of where we are with each homes. So that way all of us can still be able to function in every area, other area that needs also our time, energy and interest to be able to keep molding more, right? And putting it all together. So that alleviates you as well from everything. So like from now on, like if someone needs something with, with somebody, um, you direct them, you say, hey, listen, all you have to do is call this number, call this extension, tell them Ben sent you and, um, and that's it that you're that you're being sponsored you know you're being sponsored in that's it and they so they're ready you know i need to find out if they're going to be spot like because because this is this is one of my obstacles right now very simple okay. but when you, when you hear there's free housing on the honor system and you're like mm, i could uh, i could stretch and get it but there's free so it's like i'm trying to it's hard for me to ascertain you know what i'm saying and mm -hmm. so i was kind of like pushing that off to you i kind of i didn't realize that until like i was like wait a minute I need to find out if it's a sponsored before I send them your way. So I'm, I'm confessing that realizing I need to do that myself right now. So right. I will take care of that. Yeah. And, 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 and to tell you the truth, Ben, um, I know that, uh, you know, we're all in this together, co-creating, merging. And um, I really, like I told Jared, you know, when we were on the call now, I said, Jared, I'm really thankful for this morning's huddle call because you really hit it on the nail. Some people needed to hear that, you know, and, and, and understand mm -hmm. like, when we even ask about the codes. It's like, how can we be blessed and, and, and really fund these homes? How can we make it happen where we're all where we're all receiving, but at the same time that we're covering everyone's needs and, and, and taking care of everyone and making this happen. You know, and I think that that's where a lot of a lot of others are going to be unblinded to see that that it's like, hey, this is the opportunity and the platform for you to be able to receive for all your contribution, you're giving, you're sharing everything that you're putting together. And so you've got to figure out what's your formula, you know? And so I understand that even though you're sending people our way, we understand that you already gave us the formula. So thank you. Where did you come from? My goodness. All right. So, so about the party. You. So, um, so yeah. Uh-huh. So about Talk the about the party. party. Yeah. What's the obstacle there? None. There are no obstacles. Got okay, no obstacles. good. Yeah, yeah. So I was wondering, you were talking about doing fire pits and s'mores. I love that idea. Is that something you're still thinking about doing? Yes. We always do in all of our homes. Yeah, we love the fire pit. I don't know why, Ben, but the fire pit with the s'mores, like it brings like everyone together, but it brings that like that child, that like that energy of just laughing, giggles and fun and excitement mm -hmm. and that's how it's happening in all of the homes that we've serviced so far. Ever since you told me that, that's been the visual that I've kept in my mind whenever I've thought about the homes. Like, I think about everybody in the back porch making s'mores. So that's like, I know that's the only one thing that's happening. That's a fun thing in my mind. Um, so I like that. And that's pretty much the only thing I was going to ask you to provide for the party. And if there's anything I can do to support that, and I'm going to break down what we've got, and then I'm all ears, because this is the house that you're putting together. And as far as I'm concerned, you're the host of it. And then you're, you're allowing people to bring music in and food. So I'm going to roll by you what I've got in mind. And let me know what you feel about it, all right? Sounds good. Okay. So Dr. Vinnie Calderon and his brother Mario, they used to do events mobily, and they have all the sound equipment stuff. They're going to bring in sound equipment and a karaoke setup so we can do karaoke. And blind people love karaoke, believe it or not. They just memorize it beforehand. They get into it. So that's going to be fun. 
And then also, uh, they're like, they're like, well, we have some really fun lights. And even though people are blind, will that be fun? I was like, yeah, a lot of us can have light perception. So that will be cool. They're going to bring lighting in. So that'll be interesting. So we'll have a serious sound system. They'll take care of all of the music. Um, we have a couple people that are blind that are musicians that said, can we bring our guitars? And I said, I don't see any reason why not. So please do. So that'll be the other thing. Um, we're going to have Wait, Kirk Adams. Can you bring what? Guitars. What are they guitars. Guitars. Acoustic guitars. guitars. Okay. I said, I don't uh -huh. see why not. Okay. I mean, somebody wants to bring a guitar? Sure. Uh, so karaoke would be like the main thing. The idea is just to have this be a fun activity for people to have fun and hang out. So it's like the people are the priority. We want to have finger food. And I wanted to point out that for people that are blind, if they can uh, use their hands, it's just best to avoid utensils and all that. So preferably our, our theme would be no utensils at all. And our other theme would be to make this free for us and for everybody. Like, and we want to have sponsors. And so I put together, and I, I wanted to show it to you ahead of time, but I'll have it for tomorrow a sponsorship package page and so just like how i had that heg uh housing options on that website for almost blind i'll do another one that says sponsor this party and i'm going to have three packages 100 dollars, 250 and a 500 hundred dollar package and if and i'm going to go to all of the tech companies that make technology for the blind i've already been talking to them and some of them are coming to this party so i'm just telling you how it's working i'm really like guys we would love to announce you in front of all of our crew as like the people that bought the food for the party. And so I'm gonna need about $2,000 budget for the party. I have people in line to talk about that. I will secure that myself and I'll take care of the food uh, through sponsorships, through the tech companies that make devices for the blind. And they'll love doing that. So we've been talking to some of them, we'll get that going on. So the, my, my favorite thing about this is we'll scale the food up or down uh, depending on uh, our budget. And if we have a budget for it, it has been asked if there will be alcohol and if so, what our policies and stuff around that be. Uh, my thought is to keep it very simple and light with wine and beer and just not have a lot. And if, if for some reason like hundreds of people show up at our after party, like way more than we planned on, we can assess it at that time. But my thought is that we, we've actually had a request to not have this party go too, too late. And that's part of it, too. So I was thinking we should try to close this down by midnight at the latest. And that's pretty much it. Beer, wine, finger foods. And if we get lots more donations as planned, we get better finger foods. And if we don't have much, then we'd be looking at, like, bags of Doritos chips and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, we'd have some good fruits. And hey, make it hey, you know how, how it's used to say when I used to be a youth pastor, I used to tell even, each and every one of you, you work with what you got. See, that's why, that's right. I have my, I was literally thinking about back when I used to do that type of thing. And I'd literally, whatever we had, we'd always have fun. Always, so. Exactly. Because what makes the fun is, is all of us, not what's just there. Right. But it's just as long as you have something you can munch on, they're going to have enough fun just alone eating those s'mores. That's right. You know? So, so it's gonna be fun, and they're gonna be involved in the music. And so, I love how you, how you, you know, how you said it about the beer and the wine, because that's exactly how we do it too. We purposely only buy certain type of bottles for the home, and then we're like, oh, they finished. <laughs> oh, it's oh yeah. drunk. You know, we don't want people to lose conscious. You know, but it's just to feel nice, and that's enough. You know? mm -hmm. So it is, this is not a club or anything else like that, but it's a gathering where everyone is coming to have a beautiful evening where everyone is just having fun. And that's the theme of it. So I love it. I'm all for it. If you need any help with, um, you know, with reaching out to any of these sponsors, I'm really good with the verb on that. Um, uh, and I used to sell a lot of sponsorship packages for many different companies and many things. So, um, but definitely um, the package looks good. Um, the budget is amazing. It's enough. Do we have, I only have two questions. Do we have a time, a time frame? Obviously, we know the party cannot go to too late because we have to be at the seminar the next morning on Sunday. Um, so I kind of like assume that one. And um, do we have a, time, a set time frame that we're going to start the party and end the party? And also, do we have an amount of people that we're looking to be able to let in the party? Is it going to be by invites or is it not going to be by invites? And also, are you going to allow Martha to provide services for the kids, for the, for the family that are in the party? Because um, she asked me about that too. So those are the three questions. Actually, not, not two. I have three questions. Those are the three questions. Uh, let's answer the Martha one first. I've never 
natural if people have kids and they want them watch then yeah that'd be wonderful be grateful for that option um as far as like how many people as many people as want to come really and but that's the problem it's like what if 300 and 400 people come we're not able to uh, have capacity for that so that's a problem we'll have to deal with when we get it i think if we make it by invite only it just becomes super, super difficult to to keep track of so worst case scenario well, it's gonna we have be difficult to keep track of because everybody's gonna want to go so i yeah. think that we should we should we should base that off of um seeing how much space and availability there will be in the home and now i know that this home i have to make sure that we extend it to have the biggest fucking patio ever <laughs> so, so we can fit as many people as we can and everyone can be outside and really if we have to put the tables outside and put the finger foods and put the music and you know just put a, a two four or five fire pits yep. just make it happen you know and if fun. we need to use some of the budgets to get some rental tables and rental chairs then let's just do it i mean we're able we're able to do it we're able to put it together so mm -hmm. um we're so, capable yeah. people and, then, and we'll work together yes we will and then what's the time frame that you would like to start this? i want to start this within half an hour of the event ending and i know sean really well and i know that uh we'll likely not be able to say what time the event will end you know what i'm saying like okay. it's just it'll be on spirit when when it when it ends it'll end so if, if we're gonna end at seven you know the party start i i imagine we'll be ending about eight o'clock saturday night so I don't think we'll start this party until nine. And I, I think about three hours, call it. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so nine to so 12. If it started at seven, for whatever reason, seven to 10. If it started at eight, eight to 11. But no later than 12. We, we've got a request to call it 12. Yeah, so whichever way at the starting time that we're going to start this party, whichever way, it's going to be have a, a three hour increment regardless. Three hours, no longer than 12. Got it. Now, can we have value adders to take care of the party? Take to care of the party? Out? Yeah. Oh, like, can, we, can we so. have a value adder team, like a, like a, like a party value adder team that, that would be the team to help us assist with everyone in the party and servicing people in the party? Yes, absolutely. Cleaning up, helping set up. Just being there. Okay. Just because the value adders team that are in the other homes, when the event finishes, they have to go to the other homes because we don't know if everyone from the homes are going to be coming to the party. Does that make sense? Yes. So they still got to play their roles. The value adders are going to know within the application um, that their focus is to be a value adder before anything else, right? Because mm -hmm. we got to make sure that everybody gets served and taken care of. So if, if I'm a value adder and, and I'm part of that team and I'm the one head on trial overlooking the kids' home, but I really want to go to this party uh well um you're the head on turn we're looking the kids home so you got to go back home you know because reality is you got to overlook um you got to take care of making sure that that home and all those parents and all those kids at home are taken care of does that make sense yeah so that makes sense. so there's going to be a moment in time where some people are going to be like oh man i couldn't be part of that but you know what you were still part of something of still adding value to something that was needed to be fulfilled or taken care of and that's what matters so yeah. i want you to know that i'm going to be attending the event but also my focus is on making sure that everything when it comes to the servicing of these homes is priority as well too and if i can dive in to learn and be there in the event and receive amen but i also know that if, that if one of our you know one of our um value adders is saying hey listen this person needs um needs some benadryl and I can't step out, then I'm going to go step out and play that role and make sure that that person in those homes gets that Benadryl. You understand? Yeah. So that's, that's, how it, that's how it works. So I just wanted to filter that through you so that you um, are in agreement and we're all on the same page of what a value adder team is and what are more likely the commitments and expectations of. Is that, is that written down anywhere for people to look at or should we write it down? Just a basic you're there yeah to serve. we can write it down but also um you have a nine to five duty but you you might be needed right. you might, need you might be needed right exactly so but you know um other than that whenever everybody's home you're well home with them whenever you guys are leaving you guys are all leaving to the event whenever you guys get home you guys get back home and it's mm -hmm. just beautiful because it's just like saying it's just family like i use i utilize a lot between all of the events i've always utilized the term that i've utilized for my family and that's the ohana right like lino and stitch 
ohana that means nobody gets mm-hmm. left behind so it's sure. making sure that you know that we're serving and that we're contributing the best we can and then along the process we're also receiving for the time frame that we're the time that we're receiving so um we do have a script that's put together just the same way that the booking one is put together that has all the information and that's the uh, script that and also a link where the value adders are going to be up, up applying to be able to become a value adder um mm-hmm. and so uh in that script it, that's going to be stated on there for them as well too about their you know the importance of what they're applying for and what are more likely the expectations you do have a value adders that are going to be like just drivers. So their, their purpose is just to go to the event and drive everybody to the event and come back to the event. And that's their position. Um, but everyone's going to be able to select which position they're going to want to be in, you know, and, um, and that's going to be the good thing of it. So, and then once we have all the value adders together, um, Jamile is going to put them all together, call them in. And on Sunday, Monday, I'm sorry, on Monday, the um, six, all the value adders are going to have a Zoom training so that they know what's expected for each and every one in roles in place of their positions that they're going to um, help you out. Like, so they'll, they'll be trained. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. So, yeah. so that's we, it. Uh, we 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 it. Yeah. So my, my action item specifically is I'm going to change out the link, the click here link with the text that you sent me. That's what I specifically do right now. And then anybody that calls me, I'm referring them to the number that you gave me. But is there an extension? I'm just to clarify, is do they does it literally say enter the extension and then they push yeah. a button? Okay. Yeah. That when you call the number right now, it tells you like it's it say, you know, thank you for calling a community bank group. It, for for bookings, um, dial one to speak to Diana. For these bookings, dial two to speak to you know for child sitting care services for the unblinded movement event taking rolling play on January 10th. And, and you know it says dial three to speak with Martha. So it guides them so they know exactly which extension they need to dial and who they're speaking to. Nice. I yeah. love it. All right. Great. Cool. Well, we we have there, another call. Any other questions? Any other concerns? As of yes, right now, we I'm do. So we're getting ready for that. I'm gonna, how o'clock. do you want to run that call? How do you want to run that call and take care of that call? Because I'm going to run promo for the next half an hour real quick to get everybody ready on that call. Yep. Um, I told you, I mean, let's kind of like to kind of like take the lead and then I'll just jump in and you'll just jump in and she'll jump in and everybody would jump in as needed and then just call it. So it's just like is, the this, is this reunion folks of yours that you know, or is this open to just generally anybody? Well, some people that um, that the girls are inviting that they know, and then also most of them are reunion folks that are from HEG, which we shared in every one of the group chats that we've had for all the homes we've serviced. This morning, we sent them the invite, so and a lot of them were like, oh, we're hopping on. So, because they're, they're like, okay, what's the big announcement? What's the big news? What's the giveaway? So, what you got um, going on? <laughs> all right. you know cool. they always showed us that curiosity kills a cat we're not all all right. cats but saying you know well, sometimes curiosity would awaken us we're like oh, okay like i want to find out what's going on so that's okay. what we did yeah okay i'm ready let's do this thing so are we going to do it at seven on sharp or what yes yeah, seven o'clock sharp so it's six thirty two now so okay. we'll connect in the next 28 minutes back again thank you for I'm connecting gonna, with us I'm we love you everyone you guys I really appreciate all you're doing. And I, we haven't talked for like two days or at least, but thank you for being there and just up. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to step up. Take care. We'll see you on the seven o'clock call. Same number. See you then. See Bye-bye. you then.